This question appeared in NEET PG 2023 and it says that a patient presented with fever and swelling and is positive for filarian antigen. What is the next step? And the options are DEC provocation test, lymph node biopsy, bone marrow aspiration and peripheral smear to identify micro filariae. Now, this seems to be a very easy question, but somehow many of my students got confused between A and D option. Now, let me tell you, if the filarian antigen is positive, then we have to establish the diagnosis of filariasis. And for that, we have to demonstrate microfilarae. So, one of the best options is peripheral smear to identify microfilarae. And DEC provocation test only was done when you were not able to demonstrate the you know microflora in peripheral smear. So that was the case when you were, were you were doing DEC provocation test. Now we have much more sensitive and specific antigen tests. So now hardly we do DEC provocation test, but because it is mentioned so much in our textbook, many students actually went ahead and marked option A that is DEC provocation test. So lymph node biopsy and bone marrow aspiration because the microfilaria are not present there. Uh, so this is completely out of question. These two remember filarial antigen is positive which means that you have to establish the diagnosis of filariasis which means you have to demonstrate microfilaria which means one of the easiest way is peripheral smear. Okay especially towards the night you can find microfilaria. If you do not have, if you are not able to demonstrate microfilaria in the peripheral smear, then DEC tests could have been done. Okay, now in most of the settings, again I am repeating it is not done because of the reactions which it caused. Okay, but then you could have done. But here there is not any mention that you know you have tried peripheral smear and you are not able to demonstrate. So that is all the more reason DEC provocation tests should not be done first. First, you should look for peripheral smear, try to demonstrate the microfilaria and if you don't find it and if you have facilities then there are some more specific you know antigen antibody detect detection test which you can do and they are very specific and sensitive or very rare cases where you don't have resources then you can go for uh, DEC provocation test. So the correct answer here is D.